Sorry about the the break when the game started, but we had a quick start here in this game, and Dickinson on the board first. 12 seconds in, it's one nothing. Captains keep it moving, and now Cook looking to dodge. He's got a short stick matchup. Cook moving in, the help comes. He rolls to his left hand. Spin move to the middle, and that shot is never on cage as Gannon. Down the near side alley, leaves it up top for Mac Childs. Now far side it goes, the shot into the top left corner. What a shot there from Sam Campbell. He picks up his 24th of the year. And it's 2-1 to one Dickinson. That's not bad defense from Rossacker. Just better offense from Sam Campbell. Uses now Cook to Jackson. He's wide open. And we get a stoppage. And there'll be no goal. Now other way goes Dickinson and they score. Owen oh, Porter had Hanway thinking he was going to pass that one off, but he puts it in the back of the net and makes it 3-1. to one. Porter had Schluter wide open in the middle of the field. Matt Thurston with it. Looks to the middle, jump shot on the turnaround try, and it goes. How about that finish for the fourth goal of the day for the Red Devils? And they make it 4-1. to one. Christopher Newport has enjoyed success when breaking out their zone defense. There have been times in their two games against the Seagulls that Salisbury couldn't crack it. They're stringing those two guys in the middle on the low and high crease. It's Dickinson looking to strike on the offensive end. Thurston. Over to the far side it goes. Now on the wing to X. In front, skipped up top. Childs trying to swim move. Gets the shot off and puts it in. Ridiculous goal there from the freshman, Mac Childs. His ninth of the season. Makes it 5-1. Mac Childs, just a freshman, but showing some grown man strength right there. Campbell posing really hard on CNU. Cook gets a good look off right there, but captains just haven't been putting enough on cage. Under 60 seconds now, Robbie Adams. Out to the wing, in front, back door, and Auslander cashes in. Pretty passing there from Miller to connect with Kobe Auslander and get the captains closer to this game now. It's 5-2. Miller catches that on the wing with a big... Over to Cook. Cook towards the middle. Met by two defenders. Now a switch. Cook going back to his right hand. And a trail check. Caritzo skinned it out. Five on four. Here's a look and a goal for the Red Devils. Man, are they firing right now. And they get a pole goal to make it a 6-2 game now. The pole goal and the pole assist. From Carrot Sos to Cap Reynolds. And that one is nowhere near Brandau. In front and Brendez off the screen. Able to put it in. Alex Brendez moving without the ball and he does it successfully there. To get his 57th of the year. Dickinson defense has been so solid so far in this game, but you get a quick restart on the end line. That is just a classic end line play design. You get a 6-3 your score in favor of Dickinson. 6.53 left in the first half. Shots in favor of the Red Devils, 18-13.
Now here's a chance in front, and Jackson puts it in. What a smart play from Brandon Young to stay out there as the long pole and get the assist. Taking advantage of the sub game makes it a 6-4 game. Yeah, Brandon Young really sells that he's hustling to the midline for an offensive substitution. He stops on a dime, turns right around. That's a great job from the Dickinson defense. Knowing their personnel, you want to force Brett Jackson to his right. Here's a quick look at it again. He takes a low to high shot. That's stopped by Brandau. Ackerman the other way. The quick ball movement. The shot and the score. That is textbook transition offense. And there's Schluter for a second of the day. That really all starts with a bad shot for One ending up in Isaacson. Now a step down and a goal for Will Farrell. Farrell's second today. Eight seconds left. 8 4 Dickinson. When Dickinson has had the ball in these settled offensive situations, recently in this second quarter, they've been going really fast, been getting fast break opportunities. But when it's been settled, they have done such a good job moving the ball and you really can see how that philosophy of off now on the clear this ball rolling and a behind the back finish what a goal owen porter able to get that one in just when you thought that ben tomic ran out of out of steam there's porter to clean it up only 21-24 in favor of Dickinson, but I mean, the five-goal difference really just comes from the quality of looks, as we've discussed. There's a good quality look. Brenda is putting it in for Alex Brenda is his second today, and he gets the goal right back to make it 9-5. And Alex Brenda, is, along with Cook, is a guy that Christopher Newport really needs to step up in the second half here. That's just a simple feed to Brenda. Really six on six in this second half. Will Farrell with it. He had two goals in the first half. He's looking for a third, and Hanway has it. 30 on the timer now. Mercado scans over the field. Now looks to dodge. Mercado straight to the goal, puts it in. Will Mercado just deciding there, I'll take it myself late in the shot clock. And he makes it a three-goal game. It's 9-6. to six. Mercado was thinking about trying to get it to Auslander. Auslander had Ethan Guest shutting him off that whole possession. So Mercado gets a step underneath. That's all he needs. Keeps that stick. Ground ball pickup for Brandon Young. And now he moves forward. Slides it over. Miller, that one just gets by Brandau. And just like that, we've got a two-goal game as Drew Miller gets the feed from Brandon Young. Brandon Young picking up his second assist of the year. Finding Drew Miller in transition. And this is what Christopher New attacked on the back end of that play. Now Cook takes the shot. And that one would have been a big goal there for Cook. But Brandau, again, having They've watched their lead dwindle down a little bit here. Up two. Guess. Up top, he goes with the shot. Ethan Guess makes it 10-7. Christopher Newport's defense has looked a lot better in this third quarter than the start of the game. Ethan Guest just gets the... He, he did that against Posen, who was the short stick defensive midi of the year last year. Guess his first goal today, 20th of the season. Face-off win. McKee able to win it now. A shot. 
Turned aside, and then the rebound goes in, but it's waved off. Hanway had it in it. Trying the shot on. Off the mark. 2.59 left in the quarter. Captain's trying to get it back down to two as they trail 10-7. Here's a shot from the far side. That hits top right corner. Drew Miller, four points today, two goals, two assists. Making it 10-8. Drew Miller had seven points last weekend. He's making a huge impact here. Ball. Aslander. Over to GLE. Now Jackson with his left hand. What a save by Brandau. Can't get it though. And Field now stops, passes it out. Jackson, he's hit a couple posts in the last couple minutes. Trying his right hand, Brandau dropping down for the save. Three seconds left for Dickinson. They've been right in the middle of it for both their teams. Here's a shot that's just saved off the, the look from Isaacson. Hanway able to read it. Something they were too concerned about. We've seen those turnovers start to stack up in a similar way. Didn't hurt them too much against the Bullets. There's a goal. Dickinson breaks the scoreless fourth. And it's Thurston able to get one. His 18th. And now it's a three-goal game. 11-8 Red Devils. And Dickinson has just thrived off the way that their team offense. A drive into the middle, pass can't be completed. Ball out, just saved. Great hustle play from Miller, and he draws a flag. Well, Cook does actually. Cook the spin move and he scores. What a way to get your first goal of this game. Andrew Cook on the delayed penalty. Makes it 11 to nine with 5.31 left. Drew Miller saves that ball from rolling out of bounds. I'm going to quarterback this as he was just able to score his first goal of the game. Brendez searches back to six on six and Cook again strikes. We've got a one goal game with 429 left. You know, up to that point, it was a bit of a peculiar possession for the captains. A whole lot of Andrew Cook just kind of backing out to the wing. Not a whole lot of ball movement, not a whole lot of threatening activity from Christopher Newport. And here's a shot from deep. Maybe not what you wanted there if you're dicking. Both of these incredible high-level teams. Miller looking to roll back. 13 to shoot. Miller gets it off. Save by Branda. As with it now is Porter. Now guess. 50 seconds on this clock. Dickinson is going to try to milk every second of it. Hanway's out of the goal. Porter trying to escape from Rossecker. Now to Farrell. Farrell's had two today. Different situation now. Farrell challenged. Launches that one. It's rolling towards the midfield line, but it's kept on this side of the field by Campbell. 16 to shoot now for Dickinson. They might go back into a traditional look. Wheeler with the little rusty gate gets it out. What a play by Aiden Wheeler. 34 seconds left. Terrific defensive play from the senior. Saves his team about 15 ticks on the clock, causing that turnover. Do or die time. In front, Miller. He scores! Tie game. 22 seconds left. Drew Miller completes the hat trick and ties it. It all starts with that defensive play from Aiden Wheeler. The Red Devils don't get Both teams leaving it all out on the field. Face off between McKee and Cabanis. McKee's got it. 15 seconds left. Dickinson could still win this. Coach Webster not going to use a timeout. 
Thurston in front. Here's the shot. Hanway, a clutch save. It's up in the air. Launched the other way. And we will have extra time here. What a game. And in, in 60 minutes, we could not find a winner. Man, oh, man, Chris. Didn't have the best day, but he gets a couple goals late in the fourth quarter. Here's a shot. It's blocked. Came from Brenda as Seamus McCloskey. Now here come the Red Devils the other way. Here's a shot. Save made by Zach Hanway. Bunt in the opportunity. Now we go the other way. Cook. Brendez, Cook, drop the ball. He's got it back. Shoot! He scores! No, we got no goal. Timeout called. Coach Thompson, the timeout used at the last second. Now looking to pass off. But he gets a good matchup here against Farrell, who didn't get off the field. Mercado, switch comes. Now Cook. Takes the shot, he scores! Cook strikes for his third, and the captains win it. An OT thriller, and they'll see Salisbury tomorrow at three o'clock. Didn't have the best.